Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, you already know I'm on one. Okay, so we're going to talk about witchcraft, all right? Because that's what they're using. Now, I need y'all to understand something because people don't understand. People think this is just like, oh, was, no, no. Let me explain. The anointing comes from God, right? Well, witchcraft comes from the devil. That's his power. So how could you not believe it? You believe in God, right? You can't have one without the other. I'm going to say that again. The anointing comes from God. Witchcraft comes from the devil. That's his power. That's what they use. Now, what is witchcraft? It's the practice of magic, especially black magic, the use of spells. Children and goods were believed to be vulnerable to the witchcraft of jealous neighbors. Now y'all know why they sacrifice children. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, point blank, we were talking about witchcraft in class today. Y'all be surprised how many people are going through it. When people get, let me tell y'all something. I'm, I'm just going to go here. I don't have time to play games, right? I don't. I got to tell y'all this because this is what God wants. This is what they're operating in in these last days. Point blank in the story. That's, that's the power of the devil, witchcraft. How do they do it? Spells, portions. Um, how, what are the signs? Okay, first of all, you catch a headache. Um, they also do um, astral projection. What is astral projection? Have you ever been in your home and you think you saw somebody and then you think you're tripping but you're not? It happened to me about... I first started in California. I was laying down and this little young guy just walked past me. I said, what the heck did I just see? That's when I started learning about extra projection. I said, oh, man, these people are crazy. I mean, it's, it's not them, but it's them. Point blank in the story. This is what the enemy is using. He's using witchcraft in the food. That's why y'all starting to see more people getting sick, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Um, also, people, what they'll do, they'll try to, they want to feed you. I'm leery of people always want to feed me. I, first of all, come on now. I don't know you like that. Y'all stop accepting food from everybody. I'm so serious. I don't care if it's family. If if you feel something, then something is real. Come on, somebody. And the Holy Spirit will tell you. Um, also, men and women of God. I've told y'all this for years. I'm going to say it again. Warlocks and witches love anointed men and women of God. They'll act like they're in love with you just to taint you. They'll act like they're in love with you just to make your life miserable. And the sad part is, and I'm going here, I know some people personally, you acting like everything cool, you know it ain't real. But you don't want people to say, oh, I told you so. Ain't nobody going to say, I told you so, but you married to a warlock. You married to a witch. I don't play. See, I, I, I tell my testimony on purpose. In 2012, when I disobeyed God, I married that warlock. I almost lost my life. I stopped hearing the voice of God. So much other things happened that I have not told people. So I know what I'm talking about. You can't tell me nothing. And the crazy part is, when we broke up, I remember that man saying to me, he said, the devil tried to make me kill you. And he said this, don't ever let no one tell you that you're not a woman of God because he tried to make me discredit you. I just said something. I just said something. Men and women of God, they try to discredit you. They try to record you. They try to tape you. So I'm going to go ahead and do a disclaimer. If y'all ever find a tape of me back in the day, I did it back in the day. I did it. But anything uh, after 2012, they lying, y'all. They lying. <laughs> I'm saying it because you know how they do? Y'all don't know how they do men and women of God? Keep living. Keep living. Keep living. They try to make you, um, make people believe that you are not a woman of God or a man of God. That's why I tell people, you have to be careful. I didn't say walk in fear. I didn't say move in fear. But always ask God for confirmation. Most of you, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Most women are looking for a husband. You better ask God. Ask God for confirmation. Quit moving so fast. That's why people are getting killed. And men too. Just because they look good don't mean anything. Just because you think you know them don't mean anything. They're using a lot of witchcraft, you guys. And so God wanted me to talk about it tonight. In every capacity, sometimes your skin start burning. That's witchcraft. Sometimes you start itching for nothing. I'm talking about it's a it's a vigorous itch, and you be like, "What the heck?" Sometimes under your feet. So this stuff is real. Um, and that this is something that we're talking about in the in the wholeness class. You know, you get to ask questions because right now all you can do is listen to me. But it's time for people to understand this stuff is real. You know, we've been told a lie like, oh, if you don't believe in it, it can't hurt you. The devil is a lie. 
As a matter of fact, it's from the devil. What you think? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Now, don't get it twisted. Anything of God, anything that the anointing can break it off. I'm going to tell you right now. But you have to recognize it. Y'all wonder why these people get seduced? It's a seducing spirit. It's called witchcraft. Um, sexual in the music. Y'all wonder. Let's be real. Have you ever heard of music and you just started moving your body in a sexual way? That's witchcraft. Y'all understand what they're doing with the music to our kids now? <coughs> Excuse me. All of a sudden, I got a, I got a um, cough. Y'all know what time it is. They don't like this. <coughs> they don't like this subject at all. But anywho, um, that's what's going on with our kids. The music. Y'all don't notice all of a sudden, kill, kill, kill. Every rap song. And hold on. There are some times, let me tell y'all, because I don't think y'all understand what a true man or woman of God is. God will make you listen to stuff you don't even want to listen to. But he's trying to tell you, look what they're doing. Look what they're saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Every rap song today, I'm going to kill them. I got the hammer. That's all they rap about. Kill, kill, kill. That's witchcraft. The women, sex, sex, sex. That's witchcraft. Some of y'all favorite ones, don't stop me because I'm going to tell it. Y'all know it's true. I'm about, oh, they, they bet. How they bet? All of their lyrics are witchcraft spells. Yeah, I'm saying it like it is. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Somebody got to say it. Because y'all to y'all like people just because they got money. I don't care about their money, their honey, or their funny. I'm going to tell the truth. Hallelujah. That's why people dying. Because we're not telling the truth. We're acting like it's all good. These people are doing more witchcraft than ever. I'm going to say it again. Than ever, said the Lord. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, y'all going to get mad at me in a minute. I see a couple of witches on here. Yeah, I said it. I, y'all know I ain't scared, right? Because they're always watching. Watch me. Please watch me. Because you, you don't even know who you dealing with. Oh, come on, somebody. I don't play. I'm just telling y'all, be careful. Get real with God in this hour. Ask God to show you everybody's spirit. When you meet somebody, when you are even dealing with somebody, ask God to show you everything. Pray over your food. Pray over your drink. It is that real, people of God. It is that real. Hallelujah. You're right. They got guns in the video. I'm so sick of it. And, and these are the ones that's getting awards. They smoking dope. They having sex. You got the females talking about, oh my God, now it's a shame to even talk about what they're talking about. And, but that's the ones that's winning the Emmys and the rewards. Y'all, y'all understand what I'm saying, huh? These girls are dressing half naked, and now your kid is dressing half naked, which I rebuke. And y'all don't understand that's witchcraft, huh? Wow. Y'all better understand what witchcraft is. It's a craft. Get it? It's a craft. So now, so now what you're trying to do is draw people towards that craft. That's what makes it a witchcraft. Come on, somebody. It's a witch and their craft. So let's go here. Who, who are they edifying? That's what I want y'all to understand. I don't care if it was me. From now on, I want y'all to call everybody, every preacher, every teacher, every singer. I don't care who it is. Who are they edifying with their gift? There it is right there. Who are they edifying with their gift? Because if they're not edifying God, then they're edifying the devil. Hallelujah. Which makes them a witch. And that's their craft. Come on, somebody. Just like a warlock. Hallelujah. We're all ministers. Just some of God and some of Satan. Hallelujah. And it's out of control. And that's why God wants to expose everybody. Oh, right now, we all we all on front street. Oh, y'all don't know? Keep playing. This is that year that we gonna all know who's who. Yep, that's right. That's right. I said it. All right. Um, is it wrong to get psychic readings? Of course, it's wrong to get psychic readings because they get an information from a de- a demon. Y'all can go ahead and ask some questions on here if y'all want. Just a couple of them. Um, she said, "Is it wrong to get psychic readings?" Yeah, that's straight up demons, honey. Because they don't know the future, but they'll know your past, and that's how they get people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They told the truth. Yeah, because them demons know your past. Or what they try to do is they try to play like ghosts and act like that's your um, dead relative. Oh, I've come back. All they is mind games. Thank you, Lord. That's what they play. Mind, which is what? Witchcraft. Mind games. God said, let nobody deceive you. That's why he says, in the end, notice what he says, that in the last days, even the elect should be fooled. This stuff is, is this stuff is real. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
Yes, and then when you're listening to it, it'll bring a spirit upon you. That's why I'm going to end this video right here. Watch your gates, your ear gate, your eye gate, your private gate. Learn self-control, saith the Lord. You understand what I'm saying, people? It's not trying to beat you up. It's trying to, it's trying to educate you, trying to teach you. Because they're not playing. They're coming. They're here. They want to destroy you. And they're not playing. So God bless you. God keep you. Oh, wait a minute. I got to read what she said. She said, my ex came to my house and a dark shadow went in my closet. Girl, that's how they do it. Let me tell you something. Oh, Lord. I ain't going to say no name. Not today. But an ex-boyfriend came um, when this was about four days ago. Talking about... um. Wow. Wow. Okay. So excuse the background noise, you guys. So anyway, he came and I'm um, talking about, can I come in the house? I said, no. Can I get a hug? No. Can you get my, to get my number? No. We have nothing in common. So whoever sent you, whatever's going on, you can just forget about all that stuff in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Because I'm not going for it. Y'all better shut these witches and warlocks down right now. So, Father God, I just thank you, Lord. We renounce everything that's not of you, God. I just thank you. And um, y'all just stay strong in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.